I'm going to whip through three strategies for you in the next 30 minutes. Uh, since we've been on here a few times, some of you may have seen uh, uh, one or two of these, but uh, I've got a real special treat for you, so I hope you, hope you enjoy it. Let's get going here. <clears throat> so for those of you joining us for the first time, here at Trading Winds, we are a group of pro traders with well over 30 years of experience. We're real traders and teachers, and we've been developing our own strategies and trading systems and teaching people from complete beginners to experts around the globe. Now, in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you our money management rules, which relate to any and all of our strategies. They are uh, very much worth repeating, so I'm going to spend a few minutes on that. Then I'm going to show you my favorite trade setup, <clears throat> our winning momentum strategy, and then um, my, my, my baby, Veracity System, which has been in the works for quite some time, and hopefully we will have plenty of time for Q&A <clears throat> at the end as well. Out of curiosity, just one poll question for you today. How many of you have seen me present at an event or a webinar before? Please uh, take a moment to type in a Y or an N. Really appreciate that. Just going to take a sip of my coffee and we'll get going. <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you so much for answering, everyone. Appreciate it. Good mix. <clears throat> so. Please remember, training can be extremely risky if you don't know what you're doing. Please educate yourself before you trade with real money. Okay, so <clears throat> this is how we reduce or limit our risk and exposure in the markets, regardless of uh, the uh, the system that we're using. <clears throat> so first of all. Do not trade with money you can't afford to lose. And I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard this many times, but what this is really all about is trading with an amount that's small enough that it feels completely insignificant to you. When you're in a trade, uh, or I should say, it's so much more important how you manage a trade once you're in it than it is about selecting an entry. And when you're in a trade, you need to be able to remain calm, think clearly, and manage that trade appropriately. If you're worried about the amount of money you have in there, you won't be able to do that. Okay. Also, you should never risk more than 5% of your account balance in any one trade. And if you have a larger account, consider reducing this to 2.5%, even 2%. <clears throat> that way, uh, you'll still have a sizable trade on, but you'll be reducing your risk considerably. Now, we make it a practice to never have more than 50% of our account uh, active in the market at any one time. The reason being, there are so many factors when it comes to the markets that are completely out of our control. And any major <clears throat> news event or, God forbid, a 9-11 type event can really drive the markets against you. And so it, by implementing this rule, you will, number one, reduce your exposure or potential loss should such a situation happen. But if it does, you'll still have half your account there to put back in the markets and recoup from those losses. <clears throat> you should also spread your trades out. You know, we've seen a lot of volatility in the markets lately. And there have been many days where uh, the Dow, for example, has been up two or 300 points, and the next day it, it immediately retraces two or 300. So any given night when the market uh, has been up strongly or down strongly, you will get several setups in that direction. Well, if you jump in and put five, six, seven trades on and the very next day it retraces, you're going to find yourself in a huge hole. And that's exactly what we want to avoid. So you want to uh, spread your trades out and only select the one or two best trades or highest probability trades per time frame. Okay? A couple other sayings we live by here. You will never go, <coughs> excuse me, go broke taking profits. Now, many people say you will definitely go broke taking small, small profits, but that's only if you're not limiting your risk. And you'll see that with the three strategies that I'm going to teach you today, we, we maintain our risk um, to a very, very, very small percentage. <clears throat> okay. Also, this is not about ego. This is never, ever about whether you're right or wrong. That's important. But it's all about how much money you make when you're right versus how much money you lose when you're wrong. Okay. So let's talk about the strategies. Let's get right into this. <clears throat> Our first one is my favorite trade setup. So let me bring up my, my charts here. 
and go through this for you. This is our Metastock platform. This is a chart of Apple. And this is a system that's based solely on technical analysis. Actually, all of our systems are. And it's all about trading with trend and momentum. When you do so, your, your battle is already uh, more than half won. So all we have on here is, in blue, 20 period simple moving average. We've traded this with exponential, with weighted, um, many different time periods. We, we've always come back to the 20 period simple moving average because it does work best, okay? And we use it as a way to judge our momentum, okay? So, in other words, we judge momentum by the slope of the candles, okay? You can judge it by the slope of the candles or the slope in the 20 period moving average. The advantage of using the 20 period moving average is that during periods of consolidation or a pullback towards that 20, you could easily mistake that as downward momentum. But when you notice that the 20 period moving average has maintained its slope higher, then you know that this is merely nothing more than just a retracement or a temporary consolidation before that next move higher. Okay? So let's let's go through the rules here and let me explain to you exactly how we use this. Okay? <clears throat> so when we first bring up a chart, we're going to be looking at the far right, and the first thing we're looking for is trend and momentum. As you can see right now on Apple, it's pretty flat. <coughs> There's not much there. So we, we're looking for these periods such as this. Nice trending market, up or down, and we're looking for a nice slope higher, again, whether you judge it by the bars or the moving average, and then some type of retracement or consolidation. And it's in this zone here that you're looking for a reversal signal to tell you that that retracement is over and that the move is going to continue. And the reversal <clears throat> indicator that we use is a, in this case for a long trade, a bullish engulfing pattern. Let me zoom in for you here <clears throat> so I can show you this clearly. There we go. So right over here is our setup. These two candles. So for the setup, what you're looking for is for the body of the candle on the right to completely engulf the body of the candle to the left. It is only the bodies we're looking for, not the wicks, okay, or the tails. For the trigger into the trade, we do incorporate the wicks and tails. And what we're looking for is a trade one tick above the high of that engulfing bar, okay? If we get it, we go along and our stop goes just below the low of that same engulfing bar. So our risk is always contained to the range of the one bar, okay? What you will find is that the majority of trades that actually trigger, that breach that high, tend to move in your favor immediately, which is huge not only from a psychological standpoint, being able to manage that trade while you're calm, but also from an options trader perspective, any of you who trade options know that if you get into a trade and it pulls back against you, trying to make back that loss in premium is going to require a much greater move to the upside. Well, if it moves in your favor immediately, that's a huge bonus. Now, there are two rules that you need to know about once you do have a valid setup here. And that is that <clears throat> should the stock or whatever market you're trading trade below the low of this engulfing candle first, then the trade is disqualified, okay? <clears throat> and also, if two more candles close and you still haven't traded above the high, the trade would still be disqualified. Reason being, you know, <laughs> obviously the momentum isn't as strong as we initially hoped. But if you follow those two rules, the majority of trades that would not have worked out with the system won't even be losers. They'll just be disqualified trades. Okay, let's look at a, a couple more examples here. And let's look at a, a short side example. Okay, let me zoom in here. Or zoom out, sorry. <clears throat> there we go. So here's USO and ETF. Now, this system, like any of our others, will work 
on all markets and all time frames. Okay, but what you're really looking for again is trend and momentum. That is the real key. So during these periods where you get a nice slope one way or the other, that's what you're looking for. And you can see here, you had a, a nice slope lower here. Okay, you had even more significant momentum here. And you had even greater momentum here. Okay? So regardless, you had nice momentum in your favor throughout that whole time period. So what you're looking for are those moves lower, okay? And then those retracements back to an area that would give you that uh, that that uh, reversal signal, okay? Right here, you can see that after this slope lower, right here, there was a retracement, this three bar pullback towards that 20. But look at the slope of the 20. It maintained that slope lower, okay? And right in here, is your bearish engulfing pattern. Again, the body of the candle on the right has to completely engulf the body of the candle on the left. They can be at the same level, top or bottom, but they can't. this body cannot exceed the, the body of the candle on the right. And for the setup, the wicks or tails do not matter, but for the trigger in the trade, they do. And what we're looking for, in this case for a short trade, is a trade one tick below the low, the absolute low of that engulfing candle. Once we get it, we go short, and our stop goes one tick above the high here of that same bar. So our risk is capped to that one bar, but our return is not. And you can see uh, the type of move that resulted. And again, this is not rocket science. What it is is momentum, trend and momentum in your favor. That's what this is all about. We are not interested in trading during periods of consolidation such as this, such as we see now here. Now <clears throat> on USO we're starting to trend lower again. Okay? We're regaining momentum to the downside so what we have to wait for now is a retracement or a pullback and then look for that reversal signal before we go short. Okay, So that's our favorite trade setup let me uh, show you our next strategy, which is our winning momentum strategy. Okay? So let's go through this here. Let me bring up. So for our winning momentum strategy, we have a couple more indicators. Let me explain what they are. First of all, the line in blue is the same 20 period simple moving average. Here, the, this shaded area, this is the Ichimoku uh, cloud. Now, it's not the full indicator, it's just a cloud portion which we will use as our indicator for trend. Okay, And then down here below is the relative strength index or the RSI. And I'm going to show you the settings here. Okay. Normally the default setting is 14, we use a 7 period. We want this to be much more responsive. And the other thing is that the relative strength index indicator is usually used to identify periods of overbought and oversold conditions. In other words, you'll normally see a line at the 70 level uh, or 80 level and another one at the 20 or 30 level. Well, we remove those and we plot a line at the 50 level, right down the middle at the 50 level. Okay, And the RSI is going to be the indicator we use to identify our entries for the system. Now the cloud, the Ichimoku cloud settings are the default settings, 926, etc. We do not touch those, okay? <clears throat> and you'll see here, this is the 20 period uh, simple close. So again, it's based on trend and momentum. And what we're looking for here to identify trend is we need the candles and the moving average to be clearly, both clearly, on one side of the cloud. In this case, below the cloud, which means we're in a downtrend. If we are clearly uh, above the cloud on both the candles and the moving average, we consider that an uptrend. And if we are have one or both overlapping that cloud, then we are in a consolidating sideways market that we do not want to trade in. 
Now you can see here most recently, we just moved through this cloud here uh, with both the candles and the moving average, and we did so with momentum, which is key. As I show you examples, you're going to notice that when it crosses through with momentum, the stronger that slope coming through the cloud, it usually, what usually happens is an extended move in that direction, okay? But let's go through the rules. So here, we made the move through the cloud, so we're clearly in the downtrend. Now, once we know we have trend, we need to judge momentum. Again, we judge it by the slope of that 20 period moving average. So <clears throat> we look for, for um, uh, that slope. So here was a, you know, not a huge slope. Here's kind of flat, and yet here we picked up steam. We, we picked up some momentum. So once we have trend and momentum on our side, we then turn our attention to the RSI. And what we're looking for, for a short trade that is, is a move from below that 50 line back to the 50 or just above, and then when we cross back below, that is our setup bar, okay? So this here, on this particular trade here, that's our setup bar right here, okay? Now, once we can have identified our setup bar, that's when we look for a, a trade one tick below the low of that same bar to get us in, similar to the other strategy. But in this case, we don't put our stop at the top of the same candle. We actually put our stop at the most recent high, okay? which happens to be this one here. The reason we do that is that sometimes we get what we call a double dip, meaning the RSI will move above, back below, and then it'll move back above the 50 again and back below. It'll give you um, uh, like an M pattern here. And for a long trade, it'll, it'll be a W pattern. It, it'll be the exact opposite. Those are actually very positive. Uh, they tend to lead to very strong moves. Regardless here, we, we got that move off the one uh, cross of that 50, and off it went, okay? Let me show you a few more examples here. Let's go to a chart here. So. Again, what are we looking for when we first bring up a chart? We're looking for trend and momentum. How do we spot trend? Candles and moving average clearly on one side of the cloud. Here they're above, so we're in an uptrend. Okay. <clears throat> do we have momentum? Yes, now we do. We have that slope. So what are we waiting for? We're waiting for the RSI to move back to that 50 or below it and then cross back above. Okay, so we're, we still have to wait for this. So you can put this one on your watch list. We should get a trade set up fairly soon. But if we look back in this area, when we did have trend and momentum on our side, we waited for these pullbacks, and you can see here, the RSI came just below that 50 and crossed back above. When it did, <clears throat> that was your setup bar. Wait for a trade above, and off it went. Pulled back again, crossed above. There's your setup bar, traded above, off it goes. Same thing here. So, a couple things here. Number one is it really doesn't matter how far below that 50 the RSI comes, okay? What matters is that at the time that you do get the setup bar, meaning the bar on the cross back above, what matters is that you still had slope in your moving average, okay? Because when it goes too far, the moving average will start flattening out. And if it's flat, you have no more momentum on your side, okay? So you, you want to have that momentum on your side. That's the key to everything, okay? <clears throat> so nice and easy. And when you get those double dips, they tend to lead to even stronger moves. So let's look at, at a few uh, other ones here. Let's look at uh, FCX maybe. <clears throat> Again, this, this is what you're looking for, nice trending stocks. Okay. Here we go, come through the cloud with momentum. That leads to an extended move. Okay, And along the way, you'll have several opportunities to enter. There was one right in here. Okay, Let me mark that for you. Right in this area. <clears throat> that was a cross back below. So we move above, back below. Okay, 
we breached the low of that one candle. Okay, that triggered us short. Our stop was just above the high, the previous high, and off we go. And then, of course, we adjust our stop as we go. Our goal is to get that stop to above break even, okay, <clears throat> as quickly as possible. Now, what? How do we handle this if we have multiple setups along the same uh, stretch here? Well, if you're more of an aggressive trader you can add to your position with every new entry, your every new cross of that 50. Okay? If you're more conservative like me, you would just maintain your original position and use those <clears throat> as further confirmation that you're in the right trade and you should remain in that trade. Okay? Otherwise, once it triggers you in, once you get you go long or go short, you no longer have to look at the RSI. And you're only going to do so if you plan to add to your position along the way. Otherwise, once you're in, it's just about managing that trade. Okay? Uh, let's look at uh, a couple more examples here. So here's a chart of UNH. And here, I wanted to use this to show you uh, the double dip pattern. Okay? So again, you're looking for trend and momentum. Candles moving average above the cloud, you have trend. Nice slope on that 20, you have momentum. You get a pullback, okay? That RSI comes below, back above. That's your first setup, okay? That's the reason why we put our stop below the most recent low, so you don't get stopped out on that second pullback. But once it does, and it crosses back above, okay? Whether you got in on the first one, okay, because sometimes it will trigger you in, other times it won't, because it won't breach the high. Okay, on the second one, once you get in, off it goes. These type of patterns here tend to lead to some of the strongest moves. Okay, so that's our winning momentum strategy. Now let me show you. <clears throat> Let me show you our, our last one, which is really uh, my baby here. Okay, this is our veracity system. This is something that I've been working on for many, many years. Uh, never really released this to the public. We, we, we did to a few people at our live event in Las Vegas last year, but uh, uh, this <clears throat> is a system that uh, we have not released to the public, and I am very excited about this. Let me show you. Uh, our veracity setup. <clears throat> so here's our, our veracity setup. Now let me run through this for you. This here, you're not going to see the indicators. They're proprietary indicators. Uh, we don't show them on. We have an add-on that Metastock has created for us uh, that automatically plots the, the little diamonds here that are the setup bars and the arrows that actually mean uh, you get in the trade, okay? If you see just a diamond with no arrow following it, uh, that means it was never actually triggered, okay? But again, this is based on trend and momentum, but there's a lot more to this. And what, what the, how this was developed or why it was developed was to make sure that it captures the very large moves. You will notice here that you will be in all the major moves for the majority of the move, okay? Uh, that's why I developed this, and it, it, it took me many years uh, to uh, fine tune this, but uh, I'm actually very proud of this. So I'm gonna show you several examples here. <clears throat> and you'll also notice that there are times when this triggers you in when the, uh, the moving average is actually flat, okay? It's designed that way to not miss that big move. Okay, so you will have a couple of stops along the way, but you'll see, similar to our other systems, our stops are kept very tight. So your losses, when you do have them, are very, very small in comparison to your winning trades. And the key here is that the winners, uh, you look at those exits, they're pretty much at the end of those moves. I'm going to try to show you a few different examples here, time permitting. Okay and different time frames. So here's 
uh, Freeport MacMoran. It's entry here, <clears throat> exit, right here. We get in again and again, okay? Uh, and most recently, we're still in this trade here, okay? Trend and momentum are everything, but there's also there are also ways to identify when a big move is about to happen, a, a breakout strategy that I've incorporated in this to make sure you're not missing uh, that explosive move. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you here also trade uh, a retirement account or, or an IRA, et cetera, or manage money for people, um, anything longer term? Any of you trading that? Yes, I see. Sid, thank you. Roberta, James, excellent. Brian, okay, let me show you something with this system here. I'm going to switch to a monthly chart here, and you can use this a, a, a few different ways, okay? But let me show you uh, a few things with this. With any system based solely on technical analysis, the higher the time frame, the more accurate it is. But when it comes to the veracity system, which was designed to capture major moves, this is what you're going to see. So look at these these moves, and, and it captures the majority of those moves. And not only can you use this for individual stocks, but you can use it for futures, for Forex, and also as an indicator for overall market direction. If I show you the spies, for example, okay, you want to know which way the markets are going in general? Look at this. You can clearly identify the uptrends and the downtrends. Not only can you trade options on these, uh, I like to do this with leaps, okay? Um, you spend very little time in front of your screens, but uh, the rewards are, are enormous. Uh, but you can also use this as your uh, directional indicator. In other words, if the spies have been in, a, in an uptrend throughout this whole time here, then you should, when you're trading on a daily or any other time frame, only be looking for long trades throughout this whole section, okay? Let me show you a few more here. And, and imagine if you're trading even one contract here of a leap. Look at Disney, this most recent move. It got us in right around that $40 mark. Well, it's at $118, and it's still in the trade, okay? In other words, throughout this whole process here, Okay, if you look on the daily chart and so on, there are a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of earnings trades, okay, and um, uh, yet it doesn't get phased, okay. It doesn't knock you out of that trade and cause you to, you know, spend more and more on commissions. You see, there's a couple of stopouts, but when they are, they're very, very small, okay. Let's look at a at a futures example. You know, gold now is at a crucial point. I've been talking about it in my nightly videos quite a bit. And let's look at a chart of gold. Look how well we could have, uh, you, you could have done on gold this whole time. Would have kept you in that whole move, okay? You would have been out of the market here, back in here. And now it recently, okay, recently triggered a short, which is still a live trade. And I personally think that not only are we going to the, the 1,000 level, in gold, I truly see 700 as a target. Uh, of course, it'll take several months, but uh, that's where I see see this going. <clears throat> um, if you look at currencies, for example, uh, we've been talking a lot about the USD CAD pair. Okay, so let's look at at that. <clears throat> How would we have done? Well, look at this. The key here is that when it gets you in, okay, it keeps you in for the bulk of that move. Look at the exit. How, how did we know this was going to pull back any further? Well, this has taken me many, many, many years. Uh, but we are, we are currently in this. But the key here that I've been talking about on the USD CAD pair is this huge cup and handle pattern. Okay, So this really is a launch point back to these all-time highs around the 160, uh, 160 area on the USD CAD point. 
yet we have uh, been in this uh, since the, about the 115 mark, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So I see that there's a lot of questions here. Let me just summarize. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, all three of these strategies, along with a few others that we have here at Trading Wins, okay? All of them were designed to work on any market, stock options, futures, forex, globally, any time frame, any price level. Okay, they're all very simple to spot these setups on, on the charts. They all tend to move in your favor immediately. These, this is how they were designed, okay? And with the rules we've put in there, the majority of the trades that don't work out are not losers. They're just negated or disqualified trades. Okay, now we've got a very, very special uh, package for you today. Okay, the link is tradingwinds.com forward slash July. Well, what we're doing is we're going to give you trade alerts <coughs> for our favorite trade setup. Okay, trade alerts for our winning momentum strategy, trading alerts for our veracity system. Okay, premium nightly videos. They're the videos that that I, I record from Sunday to Thursday every week. They're really it's the most powerful way to have access to all our trade setups. Usually there are two, three setups every evening in those videos. Okay. <clears throat> also, you get exclusive access to our members only weekly chat. It's something we do every Thursday morning from 10 to 11 and the sessions are recorded. So if you can't make that date, you'll have the recording, but you get to come into our room, ask me any trading related question you like on any one of our systems. We go through several uh, examples, trade examples. They're fantastic sessions. And as a special bonus, we're even going to throw in two months of Metastock Pro service if you don't already have Metastock, so you can follow along. It's an incredible piece of software, uh, the best scanning tool out there. It will save you thousands of hours. This whole package, this is our summer uh, blow-up. $2,682, but really, you know, as always, we want to give you a chance to see what we do here at, at Trading Win. So for today, we're giving you 30-day access for only $27, okay? 30-day of our pro membership to just one for just $27. The link is tradingwins.com forward slash July, okay? And this is everything you get. Now, um, if we have time, I'm actually going to bring in Raul, our coaching coordinator. Maybe he can help me read off some questions and we can look at some more symbols. Uh, that way we can try to get through as many examples as we can before I run out of time here. Raul? Vince, always a pleasure to be on with you. We've got about nine minutes or so. That should be enough. Oh, we've got lots of time then. That okay, should be enough great. For about a thousand questions. <laughs> um, is one tick equal to 10 cents is what Johnny was asking earlier. No, even one cent. It, it, it just means you need to break that high or the low, a anything. He also asked why you use RSI instead of st stochastic for your winning momentum strategy. It's throughout the years, throughout our, our testing, it's the one indicator that we, uh, that we found works best. Mary says, will I be getting trades from all three of your systems during the next 30 days? <clears throat> yes, you will. Absolutely will. Um, we, we also, being earning season, there's uh, three other uh, strategies we use around earnings that we teach our members. And the real benefit of our, not only our nightly videos, but those live market chat sessions is that we cover all, all this type of material during those sessions. Uh, they're meant as learning tools, and uh, uh, so uh, it's, they're fantastic. For the, our favorite trade setup system, uh, Len was asking if you can take, take a look at SWKS. Sure. Let me uh, bring back my charts here. Uh, SWK. Now, then I wanted to mention that you do have a special gift for everybody who's shown up today. Yeah, absolutely. SWKS. So here's SWKS. You did say our favorite trade setup, right? That's right, yes. Okay. So again, you're looking for that trend and that momentum, all right, which we have here. And <clears throat> for example, right in here, look at this move higher. Okay, throughout this, this whole time, we were sloping higher here. We get a nice pullback here and right in here. And, and these are one of the, uh, the reason why I really love this strategy. Let me zoom in here for you guys. Okay, 
but the real reason why I like it, look at the range of that bar. Look how small that bar is. Okay, look at that. From high to low, 83.33 is the high and 82.19 is the low. And you know, what is that, $1.14 or something? Uh, that's your total risk. That's your total risk. And, and look at the reward here. And even if you don't catch the full move, because none of us have a crystal ball, but even if you just catch part of that, I, I mean, look at the risk to reward ratio. It's, it's enormous. Uh, you announced the special probably about two minutes ago. Yep. And I want to say thanks to John, Sajid, William, Robert, Dennis, William, again, uh, Nicola, Bradford, Vicky, Henry, Robert. That's the fastest, I think. I don't even know how people enter their <laughs> information in that quickly. Thank you so Welcome much. Welcome aboard. Uh, you're going to really enjoy the next 30 days. Now, the special gift, even if you don't want to spend the $27, and I can't see why you wouldn't, right. you can still get the two months of Metastock absolutely free. Right. So Just go to tradingwinds.com mm -hmm. slash Metastock, enter your information, no catches, no strings, go ahead and enjoy Metastock. Now, there was a question from Pamela earlier. She was asking, do I need Metastock to be able to use these, use your service for the next 30 days? Uh, no. You don't, but I don't see why you wouldn't. We're, we're giving it to you for free, actually, for, for 60 days, Metastock. Did I say 30? Um, uh, sorry? Yeah, I you said 30. It's actually 60 days of Metastock Pro, which includes their Zenith software. You get access to, to news. You name it. It's a fantastic piece of software. But uh, you can follow along. Many of our users are, are TOS users, etc. cetera. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Um, We'll teach you uh, our, our systems in our nightly videos, et cetera. Tony's asking, do you put out option trade alerts uh, with your service? Uh, we do, absolutely. With every trade uh, we highlight, uh, we usually uh, give you an, an options trade along with it, uh, an options alternative. And, and on, on average, as an average, it's one or two trades uh, each evening in our videos that we highlight. Uh, let me take a look. Someone had a question regarding favorite trade setup. What's the second rule about the setup fail? Oh, okay. So right back in here again. This is the setup. Now you look at the engulfing bar here, and you're waiting for a trade above the high. If it trades below the low first, then you disqualify. Or if you get uh, two more bars that close, and it still hasn't traded above the high, you also disqualified. And again, these rules apply to all time, all, excuse me, all time frames, okay? It's not just the daily. It's all time frames. Tim's saying he's having trouble finding the link. He went to our website, the homepage. Tim, it's not the homepage. It's tradingwinds.com slash July, the month. And that's why Vince is calling it his super, we, super duper summer spectacular. Yeah, I think we can put them in the chat, right? We can put both the Metastock link and uh, this package link. So the package is tradingwinds.com forward slash July. And to get your two months of free Metastock, it's tradingwinds.com forward slash metastock. Okay. Uh, Tomas is asking how do I sign up for the $27 deal. Tomas will answer your question in the chat box. Uh, Bob asking an interesting question. Does it have to be the next 30 days or can you pick the 30 days? Uh, can you pick 30 days in August? I'll leave that to my, my staff here. You can send us a message yeah. and we'll respond to that. Uh, Sid was saying, "How do you get out of these trades? When you we we cover the when when I highlight the trades in in in, uh, in our alerts and our our videos, I, I cover that uh, in detail for you. But we also follow it along. So that's the other beautiful part is you're not left on your own. Once we highlight the trade, we don't just leave it at that. Every night we follow it up and we update it, tell you exactly what happens, where we are now, where the stock should be, and then." let you know when, when we exit. So it's all part of it. Uh, we don't just leave you on your own. This is meant as, as an educational tool. So we're trying to help you take your training to the next level. And uh, we're really proud of, of what we do here. And that's why we want to give you a, a, a chance to join our family and, uh, uh, you know, for $27. Andrew asked a very intelligent question that any sure. buyer should be asking. So after 30 days, what's the cost of your program? Oh, great question. Okay, so if you're enjoying the program, uh, you will continue on. It will automatically renew at $97 per month. But if for whatever reason you'd rather not, just give us a call. We'll put a stop to it. And uh, we, we call it the world's easiest cancellation policy. Uh, John was asking approximately how many alerts are generated per day per week. I think you answered that. Yeah, but uh, two or two. nine on average, sometimes more. 
It, it, it really all depends. Gary was asking, could you take a look at uh, Oracle? Gary, let me know what system it is that you're talking about, and we'll have Vince take a look. Yeah, Vince, can you take a look at McDonald's, Shana sure. Monthly, for uh, Linda? Okay. And here was Aetna. I, I wanted to bring this out because the thought came in my head that, um, you know, you don't, you, you don't just have to trade this on a monthly, but you definitely use this uh, as a direction. Uh, it, it, it's fantastic. Uh, but let's look at McDonald's here. Uh, oh, this is went to weekly for some reason. Here's the monthly. There you go. So there will be the times, <clears throat> of course, where where you get stopped out and so on. Um, but uh, you know, it's meant to keep you in for the big moves. That's what it's all about. When you look back at your uh, account. Okay, there there was usually there's a handful of trades that really make your year, right? Uh, and everyone's always trying to catch the big moves. The real problem from a trader's standpoint is how do I manage to stay in the trade? A lot of times I can pinpoint the entry, but once I'm in and I've got profit, you know, how do, how long do I should I stay in that trade? And, and um, what if it pulls back against me and I, I give up my profit and all of that? Well, this, again, if you look from entry to exit, how it pretty much gets the very bottom and the top of the moves, that's what it's meant for. That's what it was designed for. Again, this didn't come about overnight. I've been working on this for literally years. I can tell you uh, this is my baby. But the benefit of of the package we're giving you is that we hold your hand through the whole process and teach you how to do this yourself. I want to say thanks to Luis, Lori, Terry, Kewo, Steve, and Chi Wan, Chi Wai. I'm sorry for uh, recently signing up. Spots are filling up quickly. If you can get to the order page and if your order order goes through, that means you're good. If you have trouble, that means you'll have to call us. Yeah, well, William is saying I just saw something. You say 80% as a profit factor is very low. Is that the win rate? Yeah. Um, William, with um, with the system, the win rate, uh, is, I mean, of course, it depends on the market environment, but generally, it's it's well above that, and the the profit factor is way much much higher. Uh, Lenard says, is there a particular market stocks, options, futures, and in indices or commodities your system works best? And we get this question a lot. Yeah. And is there a is there a particular time frame that it works best with as well? I know you've shown most of the stuff on daily, monthly veracity works right. so, very well. So intraday, the, the main time frames are 15 minute hourly, although we do have many members trading, for example, the S&P E-minis on a five minute with these. Uh, the veracity system, my favorite is definitely the, the monthly, but it works very well uh, on other time frames as well. Um, the, the best part of this package, what we're really trying to do is give you a look so you can convince yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. Come and join us for a month. It's just $27. You really have nothing to lose. And we're going to give you so many trades throughout those 30 days. You know, making back that 27 is really, uh, uh, I mean, we're really giving this away. Honestly. Gary says, Vince, I'm happy that you got your voice back. I remember the <laughs> bad cold that you had. Gary, I think you've been with us for quite a while. Thanks so much for the kind words. I'm sure yes. Vince uh, appreciates it. Yeah, it was, thank uh, you. That was a tough one. It was a tough one, yeah, shaking it off. I guess mm -hmm. you had a good excuse for uh, all the alcohol that you'd be consuming, <laughs> right? Uh, Carlton says, I'm new to trading. I've been reading and researching. Do I need to establish an account with a local broker before I start using? We have, how many people do we have that actually just paper trades with? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I would encourage you to do that as well. Make sure that you've uh, you've practiced the system you're going to use and, and you've got a good handle on it before you trade with real money. So uh, come and join us even with a paper money account and follow along and see prove, prove to yourself how, how well this works. I'm going to put your feet to the fire here with this question uh, that Shaw was asking. How did you perform during the market blow up in the 2008 era? Oh, I, you know what? It's funny. I, I'm going to say something and it may sound, um, it's not meant to, you know, sound arrogant or anything, but I was honestly at that time managing, managing uh, millions of dollars for, for, for clients. And uh, I could tell you that during that town downturn, most money managers not only took losses for their clients, but, but heavy, heavy losses. Well, a few of my clients did take losses, but the largest drawdown was 7% that I saw 
the next uh, money manager money manager in line in our firm, uh, their smallest loss was 40%, and many had upwards of 60%, believe it or not. So the reason why I only had seven, and those were my aggressive clients, my younger clients, uh, the ones that are more conservative, uh, saw two, three percent drawdown. Some didn't see any at all. The reason being is when I look at trading or when I sit down to trade, the first thought in my mind is risk. That's why all of these strategies have very, very tight stops. They were designed from a risk perspective first. The amount of money you make profit-wise will come as long as you uh, manage your risk and live to trade another day. And that's that's why the money management rules we have are so tight. And, and that's how these were all designed. So, uh, KK and a few other people who just signed up uh, were asking when did they get their password. Your password, unfortunately, it's a manual process here. We've got to set it up and make sure everything is, uh, you're getting the access that you're supposed to be getting. You'll be all set up within the next 24 hours. You're not going to miss anything. No. Nope. Your first nightly video will come out tomorrow evening. Sunday evening, yep. And you'll, your access will start, to, you'll get your full 30 days. You're not going to miss out on anything. And it, we're going to try to get it done for you even earlier. And, and, and we will cover. We will cover uh, all the markets. We will cover Forex uh, futures. We follow uh, several different futures pairs uh, every day in our recap. Um, equities, ETFs, uh, you name it. But the nice thing is you can um, you can ask uh, for those questions. Yeah, right? Once you're part of our family, you can email us. You can join us for those live market chats. You can get your answer, your questions answered, your trades reviewed, all of that. It's uh, again. We're proud of it, and that's why we're probably giving it away. We just want you to see it for yourself. It's like the trading Olive Garden. Once you're here, the Olive Garden, your family. 